वेलकम स्टूडेंट इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी लर्न ऑल्टर कमांड इट इज अ डीडीएल कमांड यूज टू मेक चेंजेस इन द टेबल डेफिनेशन सच एस टू एड न्यू कॉलम और कंस्टेंट इन अ टेबल टू ड्रॉप रिमूव और डिलीट अ कॉलम और कंस्टेंट फ्रॉम द टेबल टू रिनेम अ कॉलम और टू मॉडिफाई कॉलम्स डेटा टाइप और इट डेटा साइज Now come to the practical. Double click on MySQL shortcut. MySQL demanding for password. Type your password. Okay. MySQL client is connected to the server. Now we are going to use one database that I created in my previous video. Use MyDB database chain. Let me check all the tables of this database. command is show tables semicolon enter so here these are the tables but uh, we will do alteration in the table employee so i am going to describe this table employee dsc the employee semicolon enter so here is student these are the column name of table employee and suppose you want to add a column then you have to use alter command now we are going to add one column the column name is suppose work type type of work of a employee the column name is work type so the command is alter table employee add add is a clause then suppose this is work then type data type suppose varchar 20 then semicolon enter so query okay means one column has been inserted or added in the table employee now how to check command is up to this one dsc employee semicolon enter so here this is one new column work type data type varchar 20 but by default this column name is added at last and suppose you want to add a any column just after any other column name suppose this time we are going to add a new column suppose f name f name stands for father's name okay and just after the name column then what will be the command for this one command is alter table employee add column name suppose f underscore name data type varchar 20 and so the keyword is after name then semicolon enter so query okay now check using command describe or desc describe employee employee semicolon enter so look here one column f name stands for father name added just after the name column and now suppose you want to add a new column at very first at beginning means before this employee id so alter table employee add higher date higher date and this is data type is date here the keyword is first semicolon enter query okay again check with the command describe describe employee semicolon enter now look here higher date is added at first but uh, this is not showing any sense always use at last or just after any column okay so student i hope you understood how to use this alter command to add a new column now we are going to delete a column so again i am going to write query to delete a column suppose this higher date okay the command is alter table employee drop drop is a clause and then simply write down higher date 
okay by default always delete column so query okay let me check dc employee semicolon enter so hard date is deleted now how to drop or delete a key suppose this time i am going to delete this primary key and then later i'll show how to add the primary key so i'm going to delete the primary key of this table so command is alter table employee drop drop is a keyword but here you write down primary primary key and no need to specify the column by because primary key is always one in a table so by default this will be deleted the primary key okay so query okay now check again write down the command desc means describe employee semicolon enter so here there is no primary key column in a now we are going to add primary key so the command is alter table employee add primary key column name is mp underscore id you must have to specify the column id otherwise it gives error so employee id semicolon enter query ok again you can check with command this one dsc enter no primary key is added so student i hope you understood how to add a column how to add a constant how to delete constant and how to delete a column now rename a column now suppose here this is one column f name and we want to set this f name to father name the command is alter table employee and this is clause change change is a clause that is used to rename a column so change so first you write down old name old column name f name and then write whatever you want to set father then name and then data type worker 20 semicolon enter query ok means f name change to father name now check semicolon enter now look here this is changed to father name now how to modify a data type suppose this is one column address and the data type is varchar 100 so here 100 characters are not enough to store someone address so what we do we can change this size 100 to 200 suppose okay so the query will be the table employee modify modify is a clause modify then column name is address no worries about uh, case sensitive you can write uppercase lowercase then pair care and here simply write down 200 and semicolon enter query ok now you can check dsc okay so here data type of address change to worker 200 okay so student i hope you understood all this thing how to add a column how to remove a column how to add a constant how to rename a column how to modify a data type of a column so here i am winding up this video lecture and in case of doubt let me in comment section thank you